Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll start learning HTML forms. What it mean by the actually the HTML form? How to use the different components, different elements of HTML form? Actually, forms are an essential part of the internet because if you want to collect the data from the any user or the client, you need to create the form and via form you can collect the data. And on a form, there is a different uh, elements like text fields are there, check boxes, different types of button like radio button, submit button, and other also. So when user want to enter the data, he need to write. He, he need a some space to write the data. So we need a text area. We need to uh, uh, give the label or uh, uh, separate field set for that. Okay. So first, we'll try to write the Try to create the form. Write the script to create a form. So here is a one form. So you can observe the form here. Okay. So this one is form created by me. When we are clicking, see when we are entering the data, just reload it and enter the data. Here you can add the data, and after that you can click on a submit. So you will get the another file. So first we'll write the code for this one. So how to write this? Let's see. See here I have written the code already for the same. So we'll create a new one file or just I'm deleting the content of this file. So you will get the clear idea how to write the code for the same. Okay. So first here you need to write the HTML tag. Inside this show the head tag. Okay. Head. And inside head, we will write the body part. So body of our code. Then we'll provide the one title to this script to this page. So we'll write the here. Learn forms. Okay, this is our title. After that, we'll start here form tag. So form tag will start with the form. And inside this, we will write the, see, when you are clicking on the submit button, you will get the new page. So, here you need to write the action, means which page or which file you want to open after that. So, I am here writing the uh, one file name. This file is exists in my folder only. So, I am just writing the list.html. Otherwise, if you want to do the reference of other file, you need to copy the, all the path and you need to provide the path here. Otherwise, you can save the file in the same folder. So, no issue. No need to do the whole path here. And after that, you need to write the method. Okay. Method means what? Method means you can use the get method or the post method. Get. And what is the difference between the get and post? So, if you are uh, providing the sensitive information, at that time use the post method. Otherwise, you can uh, use the get method in general. Okay, so after this, we need a one text area and the label. So, write the here first name. Okay, so first name, I want this one text box with the label as a first name. Here, I am providing the input type. So, what is mean by the input type or what is mean by the input tag? So, here, I am writing the input type equals to so here you can provide the different types different input type uh, you can provide the button checkbox file hidden image password radio reset submit this type of a input type here but now i want only the input type as a text so write the text here so do the text and then name okay so this name will be from name value pair so you need to do the proper name here. You need to use it in a PHP code also. So here I am writing the F name as a name. And then end of this input tag. Okay, here I am ending the input tag. After that I am using the break. Okay, and let's learn this much of code. So control S, save this code and run it on your browser. So I already opened the one browser like run the code on that browser so 
see this is your previous one browser so just reload it so you will get the first name and the text area so we'll add the one last name also and button also so let's see again again go to your code here you can write the code for last name here you can write the last name colon here again provide the input type equal to which type you want i want the text type because same field i want again so name so inside the name you can provide the name here i am providing the l name that is last name and close the tag here okay after that again do the break here again do the break so the content will be on a new line now here provide the submit button so input type okay here we'll change the input type now as a submit okay previously you took the input type as a text because you want the text inside that text area now here we are writing the code for the button so input type equals to submit and then value value equals to again you need to write the submit only so write the here submit value is submit and close the tag here okay so again save it go to your browser go to browser and run the code okay so here is your browser reload it so you will you will get the first name last name and submit button when you are entering the information here suppose i am entering the information here krishna okay and mani okay and then click on the submit to submit so you will get the this new text file here okay so this is your second second file because in action you mention what you have mentioned inside the action see here inside the action you have given that the file is list dot html so when you are clicking on the submit button automatically you will go on the this file list dot html so this is a simple example simple example of how to create a forms in html say so suppose you want to give the username and password uh, this type of a form then you can create the this type also but for that you need to use the different um, parameter or different input type you need to use input type as a password we'll see the password field in next part thank you thank you very much